oppose those desires or struggle with them is to live in the desires of the spirit, which are opposed to the flesh. So we're going to look at both of those this morning. Now, concerning the desires of the flesh, Paul writes in verse 16, but I say, walk in the spirit, and it means an over-desire. So that's what epithumia means here, is an over-desire. Something that we desire over which it was made to be desired for. Another way of uh, describing this is as an inordinate desire, which means an excessive desire. To want something too much. To need something too much. To not enjoy what it is, but to want more and more and more of it, to gratify yourself with it, to indulge yourself with it. That's the idea, especially as he's talking about the fleshly desires. This word means an over desire. And this is fairly important for us to understand because when Paul talks about something being an over desire, he's not describing something bad here and our desire for bad things but he's talking about how we desire good things too much and this is essential for us under, to understand because so often we see the sin in our life the the selfish motivations in our life the own the materialism in our life all those things that kind of tear us away from God we just see them as bad things you know we all do this we go oh I've got all these bad things I've got bad habits you know, I've got, I've got bad motivations. I've got all these things. And the way to heal those things then is just to stop doing them. You know, I, I don't do bad stuff. I do good stuff. And that's how I ultimately fix my life. But as we know, that doesn't really work. And here, that's not what Paul is describing at all. He's saying that actually all of the fleshly desires in our life, which are those things that go against God's goodness, go contrary to God's will, the things that do not honor God or not, do not pursue his goodness in the world, all of those things actually start with good motivations. Every single one of them, if you tear down beneath all of the, the unhealthy or broken actions, you'll see some good motivation. So if I steal, the deep motivation might be that I need help. Or I need, I'm, I'm afraid of insecurity, or I'm struggling financially. And so that could be at the very bottom, kind of the good reason why I did the bad thing. You know, if someone has an affair, often at the very root is this kind of good desire for acceptance and love, someone to listen to them, some relationship that's life giving to them in the midst of struggles. But that then leads into a very 